Hello everyone. Now let's have a look at a different type of question here. So in this question, we are given that there is a girl who is 1.4 meters tall and she spots a balloon which is moving with the wind in a horizontal line. So at an instant, she spots that the angle of elevation to the balloon from her eyes is 60 degrees. And after some time, the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees. So we have to calculate that in this time, how much distance the balloon has covered. So let's first visualize this question. Now in this question, we are given that there is a girl and the balloon is moving in a horizontal line with the wind. So at an instant, the girl finds that the angle of elevation to the balloon from her eyes is 60 degrees. So if you look here, we get a right angle triangle A, B, C and in this right angle triangle, angle A is 60 degrees. Now the balloon is moving with the wind. So after some time, the angle of elevation from the girl's eyes to the balloon becomes 30 degrees. So you can see that we got one more right angle triangle which is ADE and in this triangle ADE the value of angle A is 30 degrees. Now we have to calculate the distance moved by the balloon or we can say the distance BD. Now in all we are getting two right angle triangles here first is ABC and second is ADE and in both these right angle triangles we can find out this height which is BC and DE. This can easily be find out by subtracting the height of the girl from the height of the balloon. We are given that the balloon is flying at a height of 88 meters from the ground and the height of the girl is 1.4 meters. So the height of the balloon from the girl's eyes will become 88 minus 1.4 or we can say 86.6 meters. Now if you observe these two triangles, we have to find this distance which is BD. So if you observe triangle ABC first, we know this height and by applying trigonometric ratios, we can find out the base which is AB. So we can find out this distance from the first triangle. Similarly, if we look at the triangle ADE, we can find the base again which is AD. So from the bigger triangle we can find the distance AD and from the smaller triangle we can find the distance AB. So by subtracting AB from AD we can get the distance BD. So we can solve this. Now in first triangle ABC we can apply the trigonometric ratios and get the value of AB. So we can apply TOA here since we have given opposite and we have to find adjacent. So tan is opposite upon adjacent. So we can apply tan of 60 degrees is equals to is equals to opposite is BC and adjacent is AB. So just put the values here tan 60 is root 3 is equals to BC length is 86.6 .6 meters and AB we have to calculate. So just cross multiply and get the value of AB. AB will be equals to 86.6 .6 upon root 3 meters. Similarly, we can apply TOA in triangle ADE and get the length this AD. So let's do it in triangle ADE tan of 30 degrees will be equals to DE upon AD. So this will be DE upon AD. Now again just put the value of tan 30 from the table which is 1 by root 3 is equals to D is again 86.6 .6 and AD we have to find out. 
so the length of ad will come out to be just cross multiply so ad will come here and root 3 will go in the numerator so ad will be equals to 86.6 .6 root 3 meters and now you can see that we have to calculate this length bd so we can easily get it by subtracting ab from ad so we'll remain only bd so just subtract these two values and get the value of bd so bd will be equals to this minus this so i'm taking 86.6 .6 common from both the terms so it will remain root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 so lcm will be root 3 here this will be equals to 86.6 .6. and this will be lcm will be root 3 this will be 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 will be 2 and just multiply 86.6 .6 into 2 so this will be 173.2 and the value of root 3 we can put 1.732 so this will get cancelled and will get 100 meters so we can say the length BD is equals to 100 meters so we can say that the balloon has moved 100 meters in this time so in this example also we had followed the similar steps first we had drawn the diagram in which we can see all the triangles which are involved then we had applied the trigonometric ratios to find out the values of unknown in this case we had calculated the value of ad and ab then finally we had subtracted to get the va desired value in this case we had subtracted ab from ad to get the desired value of the distance moved by the balloon